Thank you. All right, and there are still some roads closed from all of that rain and wind that we saw last night. Yeah, in Kelso, SR 411 shut down indefinitely now after a landslide brought trees down onto the road. Our Tim Becker continues our weather alert team coverage. I'm standing at the north end of the closure on SR 411, several miles north of Kelso. The trees that blocked the road down here earlier today have long since been removed, but it is the unstable hillside that has the Department of Transportation worried. And we don't know if that hill has stopped moving. Pictures show how heavy rains are fracturing the hillside above the road. Trees and debris fallen earlier are what initially brought crews out. They, they took a look at it and uh, we're working with our engineering team uh, and our maintenance crews to discuss next steps. Uh, right now, it's too soon to tell what those steps are. Until the road opens. I'm very frustrated. I'm mad. Drivers like Terry Tinkle are dealing with an inconvenient detour. They said, just follow this road up to this road. <laughs> so I don't get it. I just don't know what's going on. Several miles to the east, another road closure and a steady gusher where crews battle to stay ahead of more rain in the forecast, pumping hundreds of gallons per minute across North Pacific Avenue. This spot was under deep water last night. That was actually a combination of beavers and heavy rain. We've had issues there with the beavers building a dam near the culvert, and when it gets really deep, then the crews can't even get down to that level to clear the culverts. 24 hours ago, this is how it looked along Ostrander Road, south of Castle Rock. It's open tonight, but with more rain in the forecast... I'm supposed to be at work, and I can't get to work. People like Terry may have to wait a bit longer for roads to reopen. Again, with the rain, there's the potential for additional supplies. And so having traffic on the highway is just not a, not a safe thing for us to do right now. We're told this stretch of road will stay closed until crews fully know the risk of any more slides and are able to make the needed repairs. Back to you.